Hi Aquarius, this is going to be your reading from December the 1st to the 15th. I am sorry that these are so late. Um, as you can see, I am in a new space, but I finally moved in. I'm settled now. Um, it's a perfect time to kind of get back on track. So I thank you for your patience. Um, just a reminder that these are general reads, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, and uh, yeah, feel free to, to let me know. Sometimes I don't connect with people's energy and that's totally okay. There's tons of readers on here um, that you can connect with as well. All right, so how I do my readings, I start with the Angel Oracle Guide here, go to traditional tarot and then move um, back to the um, Oracle at the end. So just give me a minute to kind of pull a card here for your Angel Oracle Guide. My left ear is already ringing, which is very interesting. Um, all right. So the card you got this week was Forgiveness and Understanding. Your message. Soon as you see the word forgiveness, you will know where the energy is needed in your life. Forgiveness is a correction to a human vision or to an opportunity to see the eyes through the so uh, eyes of the soul and ultimately give us an idea of what it's like to see uh, through the eyes of our angels. Whatever situation feels heavy on your heart right now, when this card appears, your angel guide is inviting you to release it. You aren't being asked to accept bad behavior or let it go, but to realize that the only person who truly can be affected by your unforgiving thoughts and feelings is you. You don't deserve to have past events get in the way of present happiness, and that can only happen if you make space for releasing painful experiences from your heart. So call on your angels and ask them to help you step into the energy of forgiveness, even if you feel like you don't know how to forgive. The willingness to do it will be enough. Extended message. Understanding why others have committed certain acts, or you yourself have made bad decisions, isn't always easy. But it's important to know that we are always doing the best that you can with the information and tools that you have. For the more you learn in life, the greater your capacity to make choices from a space of love. When this card shows up for you, it's because your angels see you as worthy of fulfilling, exciting experiences. When you are dancing with the energy of forgiveness, you are on the verge of a miracle. This isn't time to be weighed down by the past, but it's time to see beyond it. Beautiful. All right. Let me pull some traditional tarot here and we'll get started. For Aquarius, please. Pull one more card. Okay. All right. Let me just feel this energy that I'm feeling, Aquarius. For Aquarius, please. I kind of saw the motion of someone just putting like their head down and then shoulders down a little bit. And I don't know what that energy comes from. I don't know if, again, if it's maybe you doing this, if you're feeling like upset about something or disappointed by something here. Um, the cards that I'm seeing, there isn't that much disappointment that's happening. But again, I feel like when uh, things kind of um, go well here or when, um, you know, we, we're in these kind of certain situations. Obviously, these different kind of difficult emotions come up, but I definitely just saw someone just like putting their shoulders down and then putting their head down. Again, that could be shame. That could be disappointment that you are feeling right now, maybe within yourself, maybe in someone else here as well. Um, I get this energy of a little bit of, uh, we have the, uh, we have the eight of, sorry, we have the nine of cups in reverse here. 
And we also have the Queen of Wands um, in reversed. And the Queen of Wands in reverse can be um, kind of angry energy, um, can be someone that's not really using their talents effectively. Um, this could also be someone who, um, you know, maybe uh, uses a little bit you know they, they they need more out of people because they feel kind of lackluster at themselves in a way um this could be sexually here as well um so for some of you you might be kind of dealing with that you might be dealing with someone who's you know passionate um here but they're passionate in a way that's kind of hurting others again i don't think that's the case for everyone but it's just out um out kind of the energy that i'm feeling right now is is uh uh, maybe someone is, is dealing with a little bit of an addiction to something here, okay? I'm just going to put that out there. Um, because we have that kind of Nine of Cups in reverse, it means someone's kind of emotionally not content or kind of emotionally needs um, more here. Um, that card can also represent vices in a way, like I was talking about before. Um, you know, um, people that, uh, you know, are dealing with uh, vice issues or struggle because they are not feeling great about themselves. So if that is you, I just kind of be on the um, watch out for that right now. I would also just say, hey, you know, um, forgive yourself um, here, but work on yourself a little bit more. Again, that's not for every Aquarius. Um, you might be also dealing with someone um, like that in your energy right now who might be a fire sign, which is Aries, Leo, um, Sagittarius, someone that's not really acting in their true um, selves. I, I'll say that. But the cards that are coming after here are actually very... Um, positive of a card so we have the four of cups in the reverse tier which is means what we're seeing what the universe is kind of giving to us now we're seeing the signs we're seeing the gifts that the universe is kind of bringing in uh, maybe it is this kind of support um to come in and help you here maybe it is new experiences maybe it's new messages some of you might be having dreams right now of things you have to do or um, certain songs coincidences that are coming in but it seems like the universe is here to help you and support you um again maybe you guys are feeling creative creatively stifled um, right now because the Queen of Wands is kind of in the reversed or feeling like your true talents aren't really um, aren't really being used right now and it's causing you to kind of again move into this space of emotional lack or not being grateful for what you have or um, you know I'm not feeling like emotionally happy because you feel like again like that something is missing here for yourself but we do have that Ten of Pentacles coming in here. So the universe is trying to kind of get you back on track, it feels like, get you to this place of overall security, of abundance, and happiness. We have the Fool card coming out in this energy as well, which means a fresh start. So again, because it's uh, coming out after we're kind of starting to see the signs from the universe, after we're starting to kind of get on the right track here, it seems like you're going to start kind of a new journey for yourself with this Fool card. So this is why I'm like, okay, yeah, the, the, the beginning of the energy does feel a little bit stifled does feel like maybe um, making some wrong choices but um, the energy in the end says hey you have the chance to kind of restart you have the chance to kind of get back on track here Aquarius onto kind of uh, that life that you always wanted or dreamed for yourself here it's interesting because we have this uh, seven of wands coming out here as well, um, which means kind of weak boundaries, not really standing up for ourselves here, um, letting people kind of walk all over us. Maybe this is a situation of the past um, here, but it just says you need to kind of strengthen your boundaries. You need to kind of um, make sure you put those in pa uh, place strongly moving forward. Um, they really want you to be kind of uh, standing up for yourself in this because it says there's a little bit of um, lack for standing up for yourself. Um, um, so I'm just feeling what I'm feeling right now, Aquarius. It's like, it's like standing in your power and in a way, it's like standing in kind of your truth that I feel like is kind of hard, um, right now for you or or in this context it's it's something to do with your kind of true self and standing up to that it's interesting because we have the higher font in the reverse which is kind of um the rebellion energy or being like a natural um rebel which is kind of exactly what i feel like aquarius is in a way it's like going against societal norms um but you're it's almost like we're having um, a hard time standing in that in a way we're having a hard time standing up for ourselves or kind of saying that you know big f you kind of to society or the way things should be. 
I don't know why, but it's feeling like almost like identity purposes, like our own identity. We're having a hard time standing up for ourselves in that. It's interesting, they're kind of writing me back to truth as well, in, in our truth of like who we are. So you again, you might in these two weeks kind of be up those questions of like, this is who I actually am, or who this is who I kind of really am um, here and having those questions for yourself and starting to maybe sit in that energy or sit in that skin um, here. Things are moving in your favor though. Wheel of Fortune is popping out here. You know, Page of Cups, the emotional offering, an emotional conversation. Maybe you are having this emotional conversation with yourself or someone is coming in here to bring you this kind of emotional connection. Seems like it now is a perfect time to um, balance out your energy or make sure you're getting your self-care or self-rest um, here, Aquarius. The page of uh, wands in reverse is kind of energy of not feeling enthusiastic or adventurous, happy, um, passionate, uh, you know, ready to kind of explore energy. And I think it's because of a lot of um, social injustice that's happening right now or things that are really feeling unjust. And I think that's things that are happening in the world for you. Um, it's just causing you to kind of be um, negative on life or, or you know you're like I don't even want to do anything I'm not really feeling driven I'm not really feeling excited right now because of all this injustice that is um, happening here we do have the temperance card coming out so it's just like you know time to kind of fill your own cup balance your energies here when you need to um, don't be afraid to kind of to kind of um, take some time here to refill your own cup to make sure your cup is full um, here as well uh, so that you're not completely drained and then right you're like I can't do anything because I'm just so dissolved by all of this um, make sure you are kind of whatever it is doing something for yourself or self-care here whatever it is if it's like a 10 minute meditation even if it's like a, uh, you know a 20 minute bath if it's a hot shower or the cold shower to release whatever it is that you want to release here whatever your kind of own ritual is um, for that you know maybe putting your phone away for an hour um, whatever you kind of have to do in these two weeks to kind of fill your own cup back up and i'm not saying like take the whole day off you can if you t if that's what you truly want to um here but it's just like you know remembering that self-care um, to pop in i don't know why but i feel like again this there's this energy that the universe is kind of getting you back on track right now Interesting, there is a bit of um, heart uh, heartache here or pain involved with our maybe social circles or our groups here. Um, we have the uh, Three of Swords, we have the Three of Cups, and we have um, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, maybe we're feeling like our friends or people around us aren't really there for us. We're feeling hurt by them in this situation. For some of you, you might be dealing with um, also a third party situation here because we just have a group of people. And so I'm feeling very alone right now, Aquarius. It's like by ourselves alone. Um, and there's some heartache in that and some heartache of feeling like there's um, you're kind of by yourself or there's no one kind of here for you. So I don't know if you're feeling that this week as well. You're feeling this kind of isolation you're feeling like you have to kind of do everything for yourself um, maybe you kind of reached out for someone in your friend group and they haven't maybe responded in a way or, or something like that um, but it feels like there is a little bit of pain that has to do with our social circles or um, celebration here again for some of you I'll have to say it, it, it might be a third party situation that we are dealing with um, here that's not for everyone um, but yeah there's just kind of a little bit of pain in that in our social circles the king of swords reverse we have the king of cups popping up and the knight of wands the king of swords in reverse because it is an air sign energy it could be you it could be um you're overthinking right now it could be um you're giving off maybe some cold energy um bitterness um you know overthinking a lot uh, uh taking it kind of out on other people and kind of communication um here 
it seems like they kind of want you to open your heart a little bit more with the king of cups popping out um, or for some of you you might be dealing with a fire sign a water sign in yourself so again there might be this kind of third party situation here where there's kind of conflict between um this kind of group of people here um the king of cups is someone that is kind of very heart based is very balanced in their um, emotions you know they understand that life is kind of has its up, ups and downs this fireside energy seems a little bit younger seems passionate seems driven here um I don't know, there's something that's stressing you out about this, about this kind of group of people, because I see this kind of sleepless nights. I see this kind of um, energy of, you know, stressing about something. Maybe you're overthinking about these two people here as well, Aquarius. Interesting. Or a certain situation involved. Yeah, just kind of feeling defeated by it, whatever it is here. I don't know, I'm, for some reason with this King of uh, Cups, I'm getting older, and then this, this Knight of Wands, I'm getting a younger kind of energy. Maybe some of you are worried about this younger energy too. Sorry about that, Aquarius. But um, yeah, you're just kind of feeling a little bit defeated by the situation in a sense. Um, again, I think you're kind of moving on to kind of the more the right path here. So um, I wouldn't be too worried about this, but I don't know. Just pulling some Oracle cards for the situation as well. Oh, nice. surrender to the sweetness there you go all right let me read this starseed oracle for you you got surrender to the sweetness venus energy pleasure joy make life a uh, love to life this is a sensual highly feminine card it's called a surrender to the sweetness of life let your ever-abundant feminine take over to taste the fruits that you've been working so hard to grow, to let your sense take over and really drink in life with wonder, to get intoxicated on the simple bounty that this planet has to offer, which you have within you when your well is full. The ancient Babylonians connected to the feminine goddess Ishtar, the planet of Venus in the Roman mythology. Uh, Venus was the goddess of love and beauty in her night sky. Aside from the mood, Venus shines the brightest. Time is our precious resource, and it's the greatest healer. If you've been all work and no play, this is a sign to take some time out, to reconnect with your lover, to play with your children, to give yourself the luxury of time without an agenda. Many of us are so busy with our lives that we forget to enjoy them. We forget uh, why we decided to build them in the first place, and disconnection from the sweetness can cause more pain than we realize. This is the Three of Swords, right? This is the, um, the Temperance card here, you know, refilling our own cup, bringing back that joy, that happiness. Uh, so many of us walk into soulless buildings five days a week in the name of survival. We strive to build the life of our dreams, but drive ourselves to exhaustion. This card is wooing you back to the pleasures of being human, to focus on what you really matters and enjoying your incredible life. You also got door to value here. Let me just read that for you, which is good, which means, again, this abundance, this money, and this is why I'm feeling like like I was saying before, I'm feeling like you're kind of moving on the track to your like kind of top, uh, highest timeline here because we do have that Ten of Pentacles. New beginnings in finance or career. This card shows a door with, golden, uh, with gold coin on it, opening to a place that's filled with light and bright potential. Money, coins, jewels fly towards you through this open door, relieving a golden si uh, city behind. All points to the potential of an exciting new beginnings or expansion where your work or money is concerned. Perhaps a new opportunity is totally unexpected, or perhaps something you've been working towards for quite a while. Either way, keep your eyes open for this new beginning to appear in your life, and know that anything you value may be open to you now. Remain conscious, creative, and get ready to step through that door. Alright Aquarius, this was your first month reading. I hope that helped.